Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Before we get into the actual art time lapse, I wanted to show you guys my Prisma colored pencils and share my first impressions with them. Normally, I would use these Prisma colored pencils with a marker or colored pencil base and put them on top for finishing details, but for this piece, I will be using only the Prisma colored pencils. And if my hand motions don't match up with what I'm saying, I'm actually doing a voiceover over this since the audio kind of got a little bit weird doing a recording. But I did get the Prismacolored Premier Pencils, which are the 72 pack. And they have a soft core, and I got this a couple of months ago during May. And a full disclaimer, I did not get sent these Prismacolored Pencils, I bought them uh, with my own closure and I just wanted to try them out and share my impressions with you guys. So these colored pencils, especially the 72 pack, did not come organized whatsoever in the color order, so I had to organize them myself, but I tried to put the reds, oranges, yellows, and greens in one area, so they're not really organized organized. Um, so there's, there's like a little nook cranny. You can easily take out the trays that have the colored pencils. So here I put my blues, a little bit of greens, pinks, and purples, and the one right below it, I put my grays, blacks, whites, the little bit of skin tone and peach colors there and the most used color pencils from my pack are the white for blending of course black for the darker shades and a little bit of that lovely blending peach and as you can see they're like ha almost half the height of the regular sized color pencils and I also wanted to show you guys the back of the box which has a lot of information and excuse the disorganized colors and the little bit of dirt since I haven't been taking care of them. Ooh, and you can see the reflection, but there are a lot of information about the Prisma colored pencils on the back, contact information, a little bit more about how they make it, their website, and the 72 colors that actually came in the, in the Prisma colored pack. There's also a model of the Prisma colored pencil also on the box, and I really like how they put all the information on the tin. And now since we've taken a look at the whole Prismacolor pencils and the actual box in which they come in, let's take a look at one of the color pencil. So as you can see, it has a really creamy tip, the brand, the name of the brand, the actual name of the color, and its PC number. And the Prismacolor pencil, which I use for my sketching, is the red especially this poppy red or a coral red and excuse this part i was trying to get my notebook and I, it went completely out of frame but something i would recommend to you guys do once you get a colored pencil pack is that you swatch the colors and don't really rely on the actual colors they give you since you can actually see how they apply onto the paper and when I actually do a piece it makes it so much more easier if I look at how the colors you know turn on off paper so I can get the right tones and now since you've seen the Prismacolor pencils let's actually draw something out of them And this video will probably be in two separate parts since there is quite a lot to say about these Prismacolor pencils. 
but I also wanted to talk about my process with these Prismacolor pencils and the whole experience with them. First off, the sketchbook that I'm using is the Canson sketchbook, which is a little bit smaller than the other one that you saw earlier, and it is a hardcover book. So, it's a very thin piece of paper, so it doesn't have any texture. And, you know, the paper you use can be a little bit of a deciding factor on how your Prismacolor pencils are going to show up on the paper. So, the way that these Prismacolor pencils apply on the paper are very smooth and quite a delight to use. These Prismacolor pencils, based on many of the artists that I look up to, are really creamy and they are waxy and very easy to break. And you've probably seen that with my white. It has broken a couple of times. So these Prismacolor pencils are such so creamy to apply and are great for layering. As you can see, I'm putting the base layer of her skin tone and applying the reds and the blush tones very slowly. And you know, these Prismacolor pencils achieve that very blended look if used correctly. And I would like to compare these Prismacolors to another a color pencil brand such as Arteza or Arteza. So if you have any suggestions, please comment them down below. And the main thing about these Prismacolor pencils is they're very easy to use and are super creamy for beginner artists. And as an artist, Prismacolor was my first and is my choice of brand for colored pencils since I'm very used to them and they are really easy to use. As you can see, for all of my illustrations, I implement these Prismacolor pencils. They are great for blending, great for shading, and are honestly so easy to use and apply so creamy, creamily, or kind of waxy. The only thing that is a little bit on the downside is that they break super easily and that probably can waste the lead of the pencil but there's like sharpeners out there where you can adjust the slant and you can prevent it from happening and since the time lapse of this artwork is relatively short i will be doing a part two to this next week so stay tuned for more of my impressions on these prismacolor pencils so I'm just doing the final touch-ups for her, the, the scarecrow clown girl, um, and ooh, my face. <laughs> but um, all I'm doing is then adding the darker oranges, greens. Um, I'm highlighting her lashes with a black pen and making those face paints on her very bold. And I have so much more to say about these Prismacolor pencils, so stay tuned for part two next week. And bye, everyone.